I wondered how you felt um, nearly 20 years on about the state of Afghanistan today. Very unhappy and sad uh, for what we are witnessing in our country right now. Uh, though we still have uh, great achievements of the past 20 years, uh, the rise in education, uh, millions of our girls going to school and boys, and the place of women in the society, and the Afghan flag flying all over the world, and much more. Uh, but seeing the continuation of conflict, the rise of extremism and terrorism, the arrival of Daesh, the emergence of Daesh, and the continuing uh, fratricide it is in Afghanistan. That makes me very, very unhappy. Has it been worth it? I mean, tw nearly 20 years on, trillions of dollars, thousands of lives in lost. Terms, in terms of the wishes of the Afghan people for an independent, a sovereign, a country that which wished to regain its own authority and progress in life, some has been achieved, no doubt. But in terms of uh, the main US and allies objective, in which the Afghan people also shared, joined hands, and into extremism, stability in Afghanistan, peace in our country? No. It has been disastrous for us. And who do you blame? I very, very clearly the approach, the policy, the implementation of that policy by the United States military and some of their allies. The American forces and their militias at times with them come and barge into our homes, do things that are horrible, bomb our villages in the name of fighting the Taliban. Yes, we as the Afghan people are own society, we have our issues, we have our difficulties. A lot of them, like every other society. But the conflict that you see in Afghanistan is clearly the result of imagination. Is this for a global objective? Is this for a regional rivalry of the United States? Whatever the reason is, we are the victim of this ongoing sad saga in Afghanistan. The entire international community backed the presence of the United States in NATO in Afghanistan in the name of the fight against terrorism. But it was during their presence here, under their watch, that ISIS emerged in Afghanistan. How do they explain that? How come? How do you explain it? What do you put it down I to? I have no explanation other than to say that they did not want to stop the movement. It emerged during the US presence in Afghanistan in the name of fight against extremism and terrorism. So they have failed. If Daesh emerged in Afghanistan of its own means, of its own ideology, and for whatever reason, during the presence of the United States and the Western allies in NATO and Afghanistan, then this mission has failed. So they better end this failed mission. Do you have any regrets about the decisions you made when you were in power? Some of the decisions, of course, I regret. Some of the appointments, uh, some of the other things. Uh, but on the question of relations with the US and my, uh, um, you know, uh, policy towards them and my approach when they began to be rough against Afghan people. No, uh, that I'm very happy about. 
Some of your critics might say that this is a sort of a, an abrogation of your own responsibility. I mean, you were the well, elected I did president. What I, what I, I did what I, I did fulfill my responsibility by telling the Afghan people that that's wrong by stopping the United States of what they were doing. I did that. And they, they saw that as my opposition to them. No, it was my way of correcting them. Do you think it's a good idea to arm all the different militia group who are rising up to, to say we, we they, an they army. want to take on? Time? We raised an army. We, we, we rebuilt the Afghan state. We raised an army. We raised the police force. We must keep the institutions of the Afghan state intact. So do you think it's a good idea to arm the different militia groups? No, we should be, we should, we should be supporting our own institutions. And we should not be fighting. The Taliban should not be fighting. The Taliban fighting against their own people is clearly for someone else's interest. This is a foreign conflict. This is a conflict for the interest of foreign powers, not for Afghanistan. Can you see Taliban being part of the government? They, they, are, they are Afghans. They can be part of it. They, they, they must be part of it. They must come and live with all other Afghans. and prove themselves through the will of the Afghan people, not through the guns that they have, the foreign guns that they have. The guns that they have are foreign guns. They must not prove themselves through holding foreign guns and firing those guns at the Afghan people. And finally, can you ever see yourself stepping up to power again? No, ma'am. I've, I've done my time. I've done my time. I, 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 uh, I, I'm the architect of this constitution. I created a democratic constitution for Afghanistan. I conducted elections. And when my terms ended, I handed over to a successor government through a democratic procedure. I will not ruin that legacy. I would rather keep that legacy alive and elections being conducted in Afghanistan for as long as we here are and for as long as that's the best system. So no, I'm a citizen and I will remain a citizen, but work for peace in our country.